Croatia's political and cultural heart, Zagreb, is the country's capital and a thriving and energetic city. Long popular as a tourist destination, it hosts some of Croatia's best and quirkiest museums, along with a great shopping, dining and cafe culture. Zagreb is also a city made for wandering, with most of the main things to do found in the city center. The city center consists of two main sections, Gonjigrad, upper town, and Donjigrad, lower town. Gonjigrad lies on a high plateau and is where you'll discover Zagreb's cathedral and parliament building. Donjigrad is a more modern area and is known for its world-class museums. It's also home to the Croatian National Theatre. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 rated attractions and things to do in Zagreb. And wait till you see the number 3 that we're going to be showing, something you may not even have thought of. So make sure you watch till the end. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides and make sure to hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. So if you're ready, let's cut to the chase. At 10, see a performance at the Croatian National Theatre. Built in 1895 by Viennese architects Hermann Helmer and Ferdinand Fellner, the Croatian National Theatre sits at the northwest corner of Zagreb's Green Horseshoe in Donjigrad. Officially opened in 1894 by Austro-Hungarian Emperor Franz Joseph I, this imposing yellow structure in Turgmasala is a landmark feature in the lower town. Built in Neo-Baroque and Rococo styles, with two small domes at the front and a larger dome towards the back, the building also boasts a superb interior containing artworks by Vlaho Bukovac and The Well of Life by Ivan Mestrovic. If possible, try to attend one of the venue's regular opera, ballet or drama performances. At 9, get curious at the Croatian Museum of Naive Art. Naive? Another one of Zagreb's quirky museums, the Croatian Museum of Naive Art, is also very popular. It features many displays of works by such well-known naive artists as Ivan Generalic, Mraz, Mirko Vilius and Smaljic. Also on display are similar style works, sometimes referred to as primitive art by international artists. So perhaps not naive as the way we know it. Despite the name, naive art was actually a style that was popular in what is now Croatia as well as the world in the 1960s and 1970s. It is less popular today but refers to a genre of art that has a dreamlike quality with lots of colour. Ah, now I get it. Next up at 8, visit the Art Pavilion and the Mestrovic Gallery. Zagreb's Art Pavilion, built for the International Exhibition in Budapest in 1896, was given its permanent home here after the original iron framework was transported and reconstructed on its current site. Notable for its colourful yellow Art Nouveau exterior, the Art Pavilion is now used for changing exhibitions of contemporary art and contains important works by Reverend Croatian artist Ivan Mestrovic. The oldest exhibition hall of its kind in Croatia, this impressive facility faces Turg Kralja Tomislava, a large public square notable for its statue commemorating the first king of Croatia. Also of interest to art lovers is the Mestrovic Gallery, housed in a 17th century home where Ivan Mestrovic once lived and sculpted. Obviously not now. On display are some 300 sculptures in wood, stone and bronze, as well as drawings, furniture and lithographs representing a variety of themes, including religion and portraiture. The most recognised Croatian artist and a world-renowned 20th century sculptor, Mestrovic later moved to Paris, where he became friends with Auguste Rodin. One of his most famous works, Peter Romana, is on display in the Vatican, of all places. And at 7, the Museum of Mimara. The Museum of Mimara was created to house a collection donated by a private collector, Ante Topic Mimara, in 1972. Housed in an 1895 neo-Renaissance building designed especially for it, this extensive collection covers a wide range of items from a variety of locations and time periods. There's also a fine archaeological collection containing pieces from ancient Egypt, Mesopotamia, Persia, the Middle East, the Far East, India, as well as Inca and pre-Inca South America. Also of note is a large glass collection from Europe and other Mediterranean countries, along with furniture from the Middle Ages and sculptures from ancient Greece. 
paintings include works by Dutch artists Rembrandt and Rusdale, Italian artists Raphael and Veronese, Flemish painters Rubens and Van Dyck, and Spanish painters Velázquez and Goya. French and English artists are represented by the works of Renoir, Degas, Boucher and Delacroix, while notable sculptures include works by Auguste Rodin and Jean-Antoine Houdon. And next up, at 6, feel artsy at the Museum of Contemporary Art. One of the newest museums in Zagreb, and in fact the largest and most modern museum in Croatia, the Museum of Contemporary Art, is a must-visit for anyone with even an inkling of interest in art. Commonly referred to as MSU, it was opened in 2009 after its collections outgrew its original galleries that had been established in the 1950s. This strikingly designed building today houses an impressive collection of more than 12,000 artworks, including some 600 or so on permanent display. While the focus is very much on Croatian artwork, those interested in the work of international artists won't be disappointed either, with sculpted pieces and paintings from around the globe available for viewing. English language guided tours are available for groups of four or more visitors. So if there's just two of you, just grab another couple. A shop and a cinema are located on site, and the museum also offers a diverse program of lectures and workshops. And now at five, see the historic Stone Gate. Another important medieval structure is the famous Stone Gate, the last of five original city gates and also found in Upper Town. Built in the 13th century, the building famously survived a fire in 1731, as did its painting of Mary and Jesus. To commemorate the important relic, a chapel was built to house the painting, which has been the subject of pilgrimages ever since and can still be seen behind a metal grill. At now at four, climb Lotskak Tower. Built to guard the southern gate of the Gradec Town Hall, the Lotskak Tower dates to the 13th century and has long been one of Zagreb's most recognizable landmarks. Legend has it that this large, square Romanesque tower once held a bell that rang out each night prior to the closing of the gates to warn residents outside the walls to return. Anyone left outside would have to remain there for the night. Quite chilly. Next up at three, the amazing Visit the Museum of Broken Relationships. Beyond its many fine art and history institutions, Zagreb boasts some truly unique and well quirky museums that are well worth visiting. At the top of this list is the poignant yet very funny Museum of Broken Relationships. Here you will find fascinating collections of donated personal objects and artifacts from old lovers and partners around the world. They are displayed in all white rooms, and each donation is accompanied by details of the failed relationship in question. After touring the museum, there is an adjacent shop with some really, well, unique gifts, as well as a cafe with sidewalk seating. In summer, you can even visit on Thursday nights for jazz concerts, of all things. Amazing. At two, see the treasures of Zagreb Cathedral. Zagreb Cathedral was erected on the site of a previous structure destroyed by the Tatars in the early 1200s. Famous for its two ornately decorated spires, the present cathedral was built in the latter half of the 13th century, although many alterations and renovations have been made since that have changed the structure dramatically. Most recently, the earthquake of 1880 destroyed large sections, including the dome and bell tower, although reconstruction maintained the original medieval design. Be sure to also visit the Cathedral Treasury with its many fine works of religious art, garments and sacred objects. And finally, at number one, take a stroll through Zagreb's upper town, Gornjigrad. The splendid cobblestone streets and red tile roofs of the buildings in medieval Gornjigrad, Zagreb's upper town, make for a beautiful place to begin a sightseeing tour of the Croatian capital. Once two separate towns known as Kaptol and Gradec, Gornjigrad is home to many of the city's most visited tourist attractions, including the cathedral, parliament building and numerous museums and churches. Make sure you stroll along its most famous street, the colourful Kalciveka Street, which is filled with sidewalk cafes and restaurants, as well as boutiques. 
Other highlights include Capitol Square, notable for its many early 17th century buildings, and the Dolach Fruit and Vegetable Market. Perhaps the most striking feature, however, is St. Mark's Church, easily recognizable by the brightly colored tile roof bearing the coats of arms of Croatia, Dalmatia, Slavonia, and Zagreb City. Be sure to also pop inside for a look at the stunning interior with its statues by famous Croatian sculptor Ivan Mestrovic, along with frescoes painted by Jozo Kacevic. And there you have the top 10 rated attractions and things to do in Zagreb. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. That's all for now. Until next time.